I just want to do a quick video for you around how to optimize your blog posts when you do them. So <clears throat> first thing you need to do is go to posts and add new to create a new one or you can come up here to new and post. Remembering um, an article that is going to appear in your blog is called a post, it's not a page. Okay, copy your information into the into this section here. <clears throat> the first thing you need to do though is work out what your headline's going to be. Now, your headline needs to be something that answering a question or, or, or something that people are likely to Google um, or something that's going to get them to click on the link. So I've just used how virtual gastric banding surpasses weight loss surgery. So it's just asking a question um, and if people see that they're, they're more likely to ask a question in their own mind and so they'll go and open the open the article and then they can get to read the information, the good information that you've given them. Okay, um, I've changed, you use the term virtual gastric band in um, the document that you sent through to me. I've expanded that to virtual gastric banding. Main reason is there's 250 searches a month for the term virtual gastric banding. There's also 200 searches a month for virtual gastric band, but virtual gastric band is actually part of, so that's that keyword there, 200 searches a month, and there's also another 250 for that term there. So throughout the article I've expanded it to capture the, the one that's got another 250 um, searches a month. So we just it's just about getting the right uh, the right keywords for the article. Um, there's another couple of keywords that we we used in here. Hypnosis for weight loss has about 900 searches a month. Um, virtual gastric band hypnosis was another one that was about 100 a month. So you'll find that we've incorporated those keywords into the article throughout the article. Okay. Um, first thing to look at is images. When you are loading an image, there's a couple of things I want you to do before you put it into the post. Um, so here's the image here on the desktop. What I want you to do is name the art image using keywords. So we've used virtual gastric banding and hypnosis for weight loss in the name of the article, uh, in the name of the image. Reason being is those words will appear in the source code and that's what Google reads when they look at a page. So you're just stuffing keywords into the into the page but they're not appearing where people can read them. So often an image might, um, might have a title like that um, which does nothing for you. It, you know, it just means nothing, it's not going to help you. But if you've named it like that then that's going to just tell Google what this page is about more often or more. Okay, so let's come back here. So if you wanted to put the put an image into the page, um, you just choose where you want to put it. You scroll up here a touch to add media, and you can if the image is already in there, you can just choose it or you can upload it. So you can select the file. From, uh, from wherever it is, um, you know, it's on the desktop, and there it is there. Okay, so let's, let's choose this one. Now the other thing I want you to do is, so you name the image this, I want you to then copy that and put it into this section here, the title, and then I also want that to be copied and pasted here in the alt title or alt text. Now these again are just stuff that people don't see. They're on the background, back, background source of the web page, but they're important from a Google perspective. So title and alt title. So just load them up with your keywords. Okay, then you need to choose where you want to put the image on the right, left, center. Um, let's put it on the right, 
the one that we've already got in the article is the full size one but let's just put a small one in there so hit insert and you can see that it's over it's appeared over here now when we look at that page on the website you can see that it's just fit, fit into that space space there nicely now you don't see any of those keywords um, but when we look at the source of the um, of the page they would be loaded in there okay <clears throat> so we've done that um, one of the things you did is you put references to other articles and stuff like that you're not writing for a university what I need what I want you to do is use these things here which are just simply links so let's put a link here um, all you do is you highlight what you're wanting to link to you come up and you choose this and then you type in or paste whatever the um, the link is that you're wanting to go to so let's just say we want to put a link to Google there that's what it is so with these ones these are the some of the links that you you told us about so obesitycoverage.com and you know whatever the rest of it is there same with this one here so we've we're linking out to those websites but that's that's a good thing because um, Google actually rewards you if you makes you appear like you're more of a an expert or more knowledgeable if you're referring to other high quality articles so I'm going to get rid of that we don't need it I'm going to remove it so again we'll just do it again to create a, a link just highlight whatever you're wanting to link so it could be like all of those words you come up here insert link and then you type whatever if you wanted to put it to a different page on your site you could click oh, sorry you could click this little um, gear here and that will um, give you the option to choose one of your one of your other pages or something like that so let's say you want to send people to the driving test hypnosis page you could do that okay and then you can see that there people are going to that um, are linking to that page um, yep okay so we got rid of that now um, I, I need you to put in this more this more um, signal so what we need need is to highlight a few words so you know the first sentence or the first paragraph or something like that and then that's just simply this insert read more tag um, and it looks like looks like that now I'm going to get rid of that the reason being is when um, when people click on your blog the, if you don't put the read more the full article will appear here now <clears throat> if you've only got one article it's not a problem but when you've got 10 articles you want them to just be short so that people can quickly browse through the all the blog posts and see what's uh, what's important and what's not so that's the the more here now the next next thing to do is um, the SEO side of things <clears throat> so we were working on virtual gastric banding as the keyword this here tells you just gives you a little reminder um, about whether you've got things right or not so let me just so I've just the SEO title which is that I've just changed that so you can see the focus keyword virtual gastric banding does not appear in your SEO title so there's a little red um, little red light there so if we just come up here and type in that you can see that it's now a green one um, wherever it went to but it's not a not a red one anymore so <clears throat> we want to include the the SEO title uh, sorry the keywords in the SEO title the slug so the slug is um, your URL so the URL is all of that plus those words there so you can choose what those those words will be 
and again it's best just to make it the the keyword that you're trying to trying to target so you can see here um, the focus keyword appears in the URL for the page so so we've got that right meta description now that's these words that appear in a search so if somebody searches Google for how virtual gastric banding works and you come up these are the words that will appear underneath your your link now it's important to use words here that mean something so um, because again people will read these words and they that'll determine whether they're going to click on your link or not or click on somebody else's um, so we're trying to get give people a bit of information here but get them to get them to click so again with the meta description we've got the keyword right up front and um, so we've got a green light for meta description contains the focus keyword <clears throat> see how this is green if you typed in too many more words it goes red and it tells you or orange tells you that it's too long same with your um, your SEO title here um, I haven't got your um, surname there because it's too long so we just leave it at Roberta okay some of these other things that they're telling us about um, images on the page contain alt attributes so that's those alt titles that I was t asking you to do before meta descriptions right focus keyword appears in the first paragraph of the copy so we've got it got it there now these things here these are headers this this one here is your most important title so that's the one that you really should focus on these ones down here are others that are important but not not as important so these this one here is is what's called a heading one now you should only have one heading one on a page you can have multiple heading twos and heading threes but don't have a like a heading four and no heading two okay so if you've got a heading you'll always have a heading one because that's your title throw in a heading two and maybe a heading three I think we've got that one's a heading three one there so you can see it's a heading three so this one here we've used the term um, hypnosis for weight loss so you see how we're using multiple keywords on the one page hypnosis for weight loss again so yeah again we've got I've added a little bit of text into the into the article so that we're maximizing the um, the, the keywords for the uh, for the article um, so we'll just delete that because we don't need that um, that's about it yep so you're wanting wanting this to be you want to have as many of these as green as possible this is saying the focus keyword density is a little bit low you could put the keyword in a couple more times if you wanted to but don't make it unnatural don't make it like it sounds weird that you're just sticking it in too much this says you could put six more words in it says minimum 900 is usually best but you're pretty close there I'm not too worried about that and this says the SEO title contains the focus keyword but not at the beginning so we've used how um, but again I'm happy to use that because that's what will appear in the Google search and I think it just makes it more likely that somebody's going to click it if you've got it like that so these things don't all have to be green um, but you want to have the, the bulk of them and then over here your SEO if it's good it's it's good okay well that's about it oh no no sorry um, you've got to choose some categories so I've created some categories here one called virtual gastric banding and another one called weight loss if your next one's about I don't know um, sexual or reproduction issues or something like that then we can create another another category here called you know hypnosis for fertility or something like that uh, whatever whatever makes sense but again these categories you should think of these as keywords as well they're ones that you're wanting to tell Google that this is what this these articles are about um, tags don't worry about them don't worry about case options don't worry about your layout 
um, oh yeah, and a featured image. You need to add a featured image to the to the article so that it and it'll appear here, but it also appears here on the blog page. So when we when we um, just go to the blog, all of our articles will appear here. It's really important to have an image there again, just to just to attract people's attention. But then, when this is the actual whole of the article, and you can see the that featured image is at the top again. Okay, um, and again, same thing with your featured image. Um, make sure you've got plenty of keywords attached to it there, um, and then you'll hit update, and it'll be done. So that's pretty much it for the blog post. Um, I'll sign off now and of course if you've got any questions just give me a hoi.